Hey everyone, just a quick video from the uh, cockpit. Um, I am running uh, FSX right now, if you can believe that. I mean, most of you know me probably for trying to run X-Plane all the time, but uh, X-Plane has its issues, still haven't had them ironed out, and I like to keep uh, FSX going too. Uh, so right now I'm on a flight from uh, oh, Denver over to Las Vegas. We're at uh, 28,000 feet, uh, cruising along here. Uh, I've got wide view running great now on the six displays. Uh, the far right display over here, I've got the gamma off right now, as you can see the difference in the colors. I've got to fix that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, using marked settings from the post up on cockpit builders, and uh, using the cost of tweaks, uh, it's running great. Now coming over here, you'll see the clouds now. This is Rex Weather Textures, but it's running FS uh, Global Real Weather, uh, that new software that has been being spoken about. And you can just see it's nice and fluid. Uh, I'm getting, you know, I'm locked at, uh, I don't know if I can see that on the video, but we're locked at 30, target 30 frames per second. With that locked on all five, everything just runs smooth as silk. Even on the ground and in a, in a heavy airport, I'm, I'm getting those same frame rates. Um, but you can see the clouds, it's wide view, so it's five computers, five displays. And you can see the clouds are just working perfectly between displays with FS Global Real Weather, that engine. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Never had syncing like this of weather before in uh, my view. back up a little bit. Um, again, it just, the clouds come across really well. notice is you don't get any of that strange weather pop-up stuff that happened before. Uh, the weather is, is, is coming up on the horizon very nicely. It's not just kind of like auto-generating out there. And you can see off in the distance there's a, a, a layer of clouds. And it's just slowly coming into view. It's not, uh, it didn't just pop up all of a sudden. It's really awesome. Simulator's running really good. It's running, uh, I'm running ProSim right now in here with FSX. Uh, usually I run Sim Avionics with uh, X-Plane and I run ProSim with FSX. Uh, ProSim because right now, at the moment, it's got fidgets, motor control stuff built into it. Uh, my trim wheels operate on my throttle with it. Uh, spoiler lever uh, with the servo. Handles still don't work because uh, there's no fidget motor control of the throttle handles themselves in ProSim yet, but they say it's coming, so I'm excited for that. Uh, ProSim runs really well. I mean, it's all the built-in drivers for the FPS sys cards. They just work. 
CDUs from FBS, it just works. Nothing crashes, knock on wood. Uh, CP Flight, all my CP Flight gear just works. Right now I'm running CP Flight uh, radios, you know, whole pedestal of all CP Flight. I do have all the FDS radios as well, but because I go back and forth between X Plane, uh, these work right now with Sim Avionics and the uh, other ones don't. Uh, although I know that they're working on that. So, um, yeah, the fire handles, you know, everything works really nice. A little fire warning, scare, and flight. <laughs>